Hi everyone, welcome back to the my channel. My name is Anil and in this video we will see that how we can install the React Navigation version 5 in the React Native. As you know, we use the React Navigation package for uh, navigation in the React Native. But why I am just going to make a version 5 video specially because I already made a uh, lots of video for that. The reason is, uh, let's just look out the doc uh, on a document first of all. So here you can check that the version 5 is the latest version and the, this is a pretty different from the uh, uh, till the version 4 of the react navigation if you just want to compare the documentation of the both of them you will find that lots of different and react 5 is uh, more smoother and this is you can say that the more easier to use also alright so in this specifically video we will see that how we can install and at the last we will see an example also that so that we can just verify that the react navigation is working fine or not so let's check out some points so these are the four points first of all we have to install the react uh, native uh, react navigation native then we have to install some dependencies there are lots of dependencies like uh, rename gesture handler screens and the safe text concept and much more then if, if we are just going to work with a stack or we are going to work with a tab or uh, drawer navigation then we will install the particular navigation and in this example, we will take the example for the stack. That's why I will install the stack. And then we have to import this the React Native gesture on the top component. It can be a React or uh, index.js or the app.js. Right. So now let's open the command line and let's open a one more tag tab here. And uh, we can just simply write here npm i or npm install at the rate React navigation slash native and it will install the native package so within this time it's installing let's check out the official documentation also so if you go on the documentation it will just follow the same thing here you have to install the react native navigation native then uh, it will just prefer the two things one for the expo uh, but we are not using the expo we are using the simulator then we have to choose the this all dependencies we have to install Alright, so I'm just going to copy here so that I can just say to write this long line. Alright, so yeah, this is installed now and let's paste it. The old dependency in a single time, they will install a single time also. After that, if you are using the uh, uh, iOS machine, then you have to use this command also for the iOS. Alright, if you are using the Android, then you don't need to run any command. And let's, as, as I told you, we have to import the React Native gesture in the index or app.js file, right? And then we will see an example also. So let's copy this also and uh, let's paste it inside the index.js so that uh, we can just save a little bit more time. Open the command line, everything is installed. Now, for the stack navigation, we have to just uh, uh, install that this package also so just write here npm i react sorry at the rate react navigation slash stack all right and let's hit the enter oh sorry that's my bad it's a uh, navigation not a native and just use stack and now let's install it uh, 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 it will just take a moment all right just after installing it we have to make the build again and uh, let's wait for a moment yep so now let's uh, just stop this previous uh, running command and just right here uh, mm, react native run android and if you are using the iOS machine with the iOS emulator, then you have to have to use the R React Native run iOS for iOS emulator, right? Not for the emulate, uh, not for the um, Android emulator, right? So let's wait for the installation. Yeah, this is about to install, and now just run here React Native start command. Yep. So here you can see that we our system is in starting here. File is just bundling. 
yeah so sometime if you are able to see the blank screen then you can just reopen your application and uh, you will find the text here all right all right so now to check that this is working fine or not with the react navigation then i already made an example i will just explain this example in the upcoming video in a step by step in a very manner thing right so for a moment i am just going to copy and paste this area so that we can check that this is working or not and here you can see that this is working fine if i am just refreshing it all right so we can go in the detail screen and we can also go back so stack navigation working fine the next video i will just clear out this complete code and i will uh, just uh, write this complete code in a line by line all right so bye bye don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video